Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Power Toys app for Windows 10 and Windows 11, version 0 0.69.0, which as many of you will know, if you are using Power Toys, you can just click on check for updates, which will start the update process automatically. Now there's quite a lot going on with this latest release. And first of all, um, there are various fixes and improvements that have rolled out for the different tools and utilities um, in Power Toys. And one of the main fixes that has rolled out, if you are using Power Toys Run, which basically is a quick launcher for your desktop, uh, is that they have addressed a crash issue. Um, if you were using Power Toys Run, so that major bug has been addressed. And then they're also rolling out um, improvements for the Awake utility, which basically is a convenient way to keep your PC awake on demand. Now, um, you will notice um, if you are using Awake, if you head to the mode that they have introduced um, keeping the system awake until expiration time and date. So if we click on the drop down menu, we now get a new option, keep awake until expiration, which uh, gives you um, an end date and time. So keep customer awake state until a specific date and time. So that's also now available in this latest release which I think is a nice move in the right direction if you are using the Awake tool. Now, I would say that the key highlight um, for version 69 for Power Toys would be that they have rolled out the new registry preview tool, which I did post on a week or so ago, and I'll leave a, a video down below in the, in the description um, as that will provide you with a whole lot more info. But just a quick recap for today's video. Um, you get the registry preview now which is a quick little utility to visualize and edit complex Windows registry files. And uh, um, obviously you can turn the feature on and if you click on launch registry preview, that will open up the registry preview in its own, own separate window, which you can click on and um, which will be found in the taskbar when that opens. Now, according to um, the release, and I'm quoting this, um, they say that Power Toys registry preview simplifies the process of visualizing and editing complex Windows registry files. It also allows you to write registry changes to the Windows registry. Now, as mentioned, just a quick recap. Um, uh, to the left uh, is where you can basically edit those registry keys. So you'll have no longer have to rely on external software like Notepad, which you previously had to do up until this stage, to make edits and adjustments um, to the .reg files. And yet to the right, in the top right-hand pane, um, you get where you the pane where you'll be able to see your keys and you'll be able to expand those keys and then in the bottom right hand pane that's where you'll be able to work on and see your different values and you can also open the registry editor directly from the actual tool which I think for someone like me who does use the and edit the registry on a regular basis is a nice move um, in the right direction as I would always say so the new registry preview now available in this latest release of Power Toys. And that's more or less, as mentioned, over and above that key highlight and those other improvements, a whole lot of different fixes rolling out for the different tools and utilities. And you can also just click on the release notes, which will take you directly over to GitHub, um, where Power Toys is maintained and developed by Microsoft to get access to the release notes if you'd like to check out more in depth. Um, um, all the different fixes that have rolled out and you can download and install power toys in case you're unaware from the microsoft store for both windows 10 and windows 11 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one